Sometimes people tell me they had such a bad upbringing that or their parents or grandparents who raised them don't have a place in their life and there's no pictures whatsoever of those people in the home. This is a big mistake from the feng shui viewpoint because if you had an overbearing parent and you do not have any pictures of them in your home, that parent becomes the eye in the sky, like in the song, always watching you, always judging you. Actually having pictures of abusive parents in your home is going to tell your soul that they have a place in your life, but it's not your whole life. The idea that uh, somebody, even if somebody has already passed on, they are doing everything as if that person was watching them and judging them. And sometimes people will do things exactly the way that person would have liked them to do. And sometimes they do the exact opposite of what person would have liked them to do, but they're still not free in their choices because they're doing what that person wanted them to do, not what they want to do. Or the opposite of what person wanted them to do. But there's a limit, right? There's a continuum from what the person wanted you to do and doing the opposite that removes your freedom to choose. It's actually recommended to keep parents' pictures in your home. Now, in my course, um, How to Forgive Family, uh, we tell you exactly where to place those pictures so that um, they help you instead of hurting you because it, it is true, you know, people avoid having pictures of people who were abusive who raised them because it can um, be a continuation of the abuse or a trigger. But if you know exactly what size of picture to use, what kind of picture and where to put it, that doesn't happen. But it is very important that you do keep pictures of your direct ancestors, especially your parents in your home.